Good morning everyone. Welcome to Astra, the daily current affairs. This is Varunjay Reddy bringing you the current affairs for the day. Let's have a look at what are the current affairs that we have in today's newspaper as far as UPSC prelims is considered. Going into the front page, 49 more MPs were facing the suspension in the so-called parliament. As a result, totally 141 members in the winter session of parliament was suspended, which is really something sad which is happening in the new parliament power of India. Now the opposition calls it as democracy being mercilessly murdered. So this was the opposition that it has said. Yesterday we have seen some articles regarding to it. Please have a look at it. That will be more than enough. Tamil Nadu state minister convicted faces disqualification. The High Court of Karnataka, that is Madras High Court, Tamil Nadu Madras High Court has clearly said that the MP who is facing charges have been disqualified under Prevention of Corruption Act. As a result, this man stands suspended. In this context, please look at how a member of state legislature gets disqualified and who will be looking into it. I quote will be looking into it. The members of state legislature, if they are disqualified, they will be disqualified by governor upon the recommendations of Election Commission of India by taking the permission of the <coughs> state high court. This is the thing. Please have a look at that in the uh, quality general discussion. Post last minute withdrawal leaves historic science congress in the lodge. So off rate, uh, there has been the plans that uh, lovely professional university is going to be conducting the 109th edition of the Indian science congress. But in the last minute, this university has been put on for conducting this science congress. As a result, this year, this science congress is said to be in large. Next one is VVS Lakshman asks the parents to be patient. This can be raised, uh, written in GS paper 4. Uh, Lakshman asking the parents not to push the children too hard. Let them enjoy the training sessions. Every child is unique and parents need to understand that. Cyber crimes are in the rise and economic offenses are, rise, are in the rise in the state. So these things can be used in answer writing. 20 IPS officers transferred in another reshuffle after the formation of the new state. The deep import of Article 370 verdict. This article is speaking about on, on the grounds for Jammu and Kashmir on which the discussion was there and Ladakh, how the talk could seize peace and security and what it implies for democracy. So this is speaking about uh, how it is going to happen and how this uh, act or how this verdict of Jammu Kashmir has been uh, will play a very crucial role in the federal relations as well as in the state relations of India and Jammu and Kashmir. Now, no need to read this article. We have already enough on our plate. So already we have read them. Tax high HFSS that is high fat sugar salt foods view it as a public health impact imperative now high food sugar and salts is one of the major risk factor to cause diseases which includes obesity diabetes high blood pressure according to the world bank in the year 2019 worldwide 70 percent of the overweight and obese people live in the lower and middle income countries with a 55 percent rise in the rural areas across the globe now this is the conception that high income countries are affiliated with this high fat or affected with this high fat sugar uh, diseases but now the non-communicable disease burden has been skyrocketing in india this is a position that they had as a result this article speaks about to impose higher taxes on these things if you are interested you can read otherwise not that important incoming call this is regarding to the so-called latest government of india's decision to go and introduce the telecommunication bill 2023 in this context, the article speaks about how uh, the telecommunication bill will play a very crucial role in streamlining the regulatory landscape of the economy or of the society in an environment particularly where uh, the business of net banking or net uh, is increasing. However, there is some uh, issues that are persisting even in this landscape. The definition of telecom brings an ambit of range of services ranging from private surveillance to the so-called uh, state-sponsored swoopings. So these things has to be taken into consideration while this is done. No, no need to read this. Once the bill becomes an act, you can read the provisions of the act directly. Then that will be more than enough. No need to focus it now. Turbulence in the South. India must ensure better cohesion among agencies during disasters. This is regarding to the so-called recent disasters which are happening in the state of Tamil Nadu and how there should be better cohesion 
among the state agencies and the central agencies in order to have uh, a proactive way of dealing with the challenges. So again, this is disaster management. If you are interested, you can read. So one article today that you can read is disaster management turbulence in the south. This is more than important. India's ethanol corundum. Now this is speaking about the so-called recent government of India's uh, uh, decisions. That is, India government has decided to increase the ethanol blended program uh, to 20% target by 2025. Now, however, the problem that India is facing is the poor sugar production that may impact the ethanol. So, they has been uh, writing about this. So, science and technology article, if you are interested, again, you can read. But again, no much relevance. Just remember only to read this article today. New record set with high suspension, with suspension of 141 MPs in a single session. Already we discussed that. After this, no job quota for people with blood disorders. So this is what the central government has replied in the parliament. Netanyahu calls Modi to discuss maritime threat in Red Sea. Please have a look at uh, what are the boundaries of Red Sea because this is extremely important. Uh, uh, in the global page, there is one thing called US launches multinational push to protect Red Sea from Houthi attack. And this is known as the so-called uh, Operation Prosperity Guardian. So Operation Prosperity Guardian was launched by the US in order to ensure that there is safe passage of the ships in the Red Sea and they wanted to protect it from Houthi rebels of Yemen. Now in this context you should know where this Red Sea is extremely important for prelims. Operation uh, This operation is important. Operation Prosperity Guardian. Please have a look at that uh, Red Sea borders. Now coming from the business page, states can borrow an extra of 2 lakh crore rupees this fiscal, says the so-called finance ministry, all the states who have fulfilled the liabilities of NPS contribution after 2004 can be like, uh, can also uh, borrow somewhere around 2 lakh crore rupees in this fiscal year, which is above 3% of the GDP that the state government or central government has allowed earlier. The finance minister calls the countries or the states to withdraw the court cases and approach GST tribunals which they are going to establish very soon in order to settle the disputes of GST. So these are the things that we have in today's newspaper. There is no much news even in the text and context page guys. Uh, Dharavi revamp in turmoil. So Dharavi is the uh, largest slum in Asia. Now they wanted to revamp it. However, there is some controversy about the people who have got the contract in order to uh, revamp it. So in this context that was written, not that important again. Uh, so these are the things, only one article for the day and uh, some two or three news about uh, quality and economics. This is what we have for the day. Thanks for joining. Have a nice day.